Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. How many know he's able? He can do anything, but he sure can't fail. And line is nowhere near him. Come on, 
as he get ready to bring the word. Let us be here, Lord. Shall be established. 
the Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of the evil. Everyone that is proud, proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. I'm through and joy in hand shall not be unpunished. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, I feel good in my spirit today. Oh, Lord, I tell them those things. Hey, God. Oh, I feel good this morning. I think, oh, Lord.
good, amen. We're not going to take up too much time. Because singing and dancing is all right. But we need the word. Oh, I just feel good. 
Hello, I feel good. Oh, I just got an honor. Oh, I said, I'm glad what God is doing. Oh, I'm in Texas and in Alabama. Oh, God, God has no limits. Hey, who can stop God? What can stop God? Why, my God, he's God. Oh, he's God. Oh, I just feel good. Oh, y'all excuse me, but don't excuse me. Oh, because I got another chance to praise him. I got another chance to exalt him. I got another chance to be at his feet. Oh, somebody just woke up this morning. Oh, God, for God. He told death to behave on last night. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, man, I'm just excited to come and worship, to come and serve God with y'all today. I say it is the honor, my God, oh, to travel, to, to travel across the state lines. I have a seat. Oh, I act like this at home. Oh, I act like this at home. Oh, God, with me. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, I'm just in the honor. Oh, y'all. Only if y'all know what I feel. Now, I understand the moment. It's like fire. Oh, it's like fire. It's like fire. Shut up in my bones. Oh, a man go fire got the holler. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, come on. Oh, y'all, I just love the Lord. I just love the Lord. That's why I just love him. I just love him. On Monday, I love him. Tuesday, I love him. Wednesday, I love him. Thursday, Friday, I love him. Saturday, Sunday, I love him. Oh, I love him. Oh, I just thank him. Oh, y'all just come on. Let's exalt Jesus. Let's exalt him. Let God have his way. Y'all pray for him.
Amen. Put your hands together. Come on, clap them, clap them. We're in real good. Clap them, we're in real good. Clap them like you need it. Clap them like you know he's God. He's the Holy God. Amen. Don't worry 
about it. Just come on, let's do it. Come on. Don't worry about how I look. Don't worry about how I sound. Let's just come do the work of the Lord. Look at my fellow. Greater is coming. Amen. Greater is coming for this house. Amen. For this ministry. Amen. I'm so glad to be, amen, your overseer. It's going to get greater. Look at my fellow. It's going to get greater. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Ghost and the fire. Amen. We thank God for those that's back home. Amen. They're holding it down till we get back. Amen. My, my woman of God, my, my first lady, she's bringing that word this morning. Amen. I tell you, I can't wait to go to see it later. Amen. Thank God for this city. Amen. For this, this town. Amen. That I was going to do some great things in Bruton. I already feel the climate in the spirit of change. Come on, someone. I can already feel some things working in the spirit. Go lift them hands and give God some praise and this. Amen. God is going to do some great things and we, the best is yet to come. My eyes have not seen. Our ears have not yet heard. Neither has it entered into our hearts. The things that God got prepared for true holiness. Can I get a witness? I go lift them hands and give God some praise and this. Amen. I'm not intending to hold you forever. But I didn't come this far to rush either. How about that? I ain't going to hold you long, but I ain't come to rush. So I'm in between taking my time and not being long. Come on, lift your hands and give God some praise again. Lord, I tell you, I, I, I love driving. I love riding. When people ask, well, you like, you like that whole, that, that ride? Yes, I do. I like driving. I like riding. Can I get a witness? And they show me in your own car. You can stop when you want to. Praise the Lord. You can stop when you want to. You can go when you want to. And that's why I thank God for that. Thank God. Can we give one more round of applause for Jesus? Yeah. 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 And I, I feel that I'm going to prophesy this on camera. Pastor, God's going to fill this place. This place is going to be filled. You hear the word of the Lord? God is going to fill this house. Hallelujah. That's why the warfare been so great. Because the enemy peeped into what God is about to do with it. Amen. He's upset about it. But guess what? He can't do anything about it. Amen. We thank the Lord. The book of Hebrews. I, I, I don't, I'm not a compromising preacher. I don't play. Praise the Lord. The, the ministry that God has given me is not really popular. So that's all right. But long as God get the glory, so we throw our hands up and give God some praise. Amen. As long as God is pleased with what He's about to say to us. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Grace. Amen. Good to see you, man of God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. The book of Hebrews, chapter ten. Glory. Come on, Hebrews chapter ten. Let's consider. Verses 26 down to 31. Uh, come on, preacher. Glory. Hebrews chapter 10. Uh -huh. Verse 26 down to 31. When you get it, say amen. 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 The word of the Lord says, For if we sin willfully, uh -oh. come on. after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Uh -huh. There remained no more sacrifice for sin. Yeah. So y'all listening to the word. Come on, come on. We, if, for, if we willingly sin after we come to the knowledge of the truth, uh -oh. there remained no more sacrifice for sin. Uh -oh. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment uh -oh. and fearing indignation, which shall devour the adversary. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy ah. under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, uh -oh. suppose you, shall he be thought worthy who had trodden underfoot the Son of God and had counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing ah. and had done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him. How many know him? No, come on. For we know him that had said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the 
Lord shall judge his people. He shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Can we give God some praise for the reading of the word? Can you just look at somebody? It might not pertain to you, but just look at him anyway. Just tell them, stop playing with my grace and mercy. That's what God told me to tell you today. Tell them again. God said. Tell them God said. Stop playing with my grace and my mercy. Go throw them hands up and give God some praise today. Maybe see this in bad I was down praying Friday night, amen, and God began to speak to my heart. And I just pray I don't bore your patience. But I feel an anointing that's about to hit this house. I can feel it. Come on, lift your head. Let me give God some praise. Stop playing with my grace and mercy. When you look at the word grace, grace is God's unmerited, unearned gift of the divine favor in the salvation of sinners. It's, it's God's. You don't have to work to get saved. I'm going to know you don't have to do nothing to get saved but have faith. Can I get a witness? I can't, my dress, your dress can't be long enough. Come on, somebody, your hair can't be long enough, amen. You can't pay the pie to get saved. Can I get a witness? You just got to come believing. Amen. And accepting what God has said about his son, Jesus Christ. And if you can believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. And so God credit you righteousness when you come to salvation faith. How many know it's free? Look at this box. It's free. Amen. That's what grace is. It's, it's favor. It's unmerited. Amen. It's the divine influence operating in an individual for the regeneration and sanctification. Amen. When God saved you, he regenerated you and he sanctified you. How many know God wants you sanctified? Regenerated us born again, made us new. Amen. Now, after he made us new, he set us aside and set us apart. How many know if you can say it, you're supposed to live holy. I can't get nobody. Say folks live holy. Sinners live like the devil. I can't get the quiet, but I said say folks live holy. Sinners live like the devil. He that committed sin is what? I can't get nobody. But when you look at mercy, it's a different Different meaning, grace and mercy are two different things. Amen. But yet they're similar. Mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone when it is within one's power to punish or to harm you. He has the right to harm you, but he said, No, I'm not going to do it. Can I get a witness? Uh, mercy is forgiving the sinner and withholding the punishment. That is justly deserved. And I know all of us in this house can thank God for mercy. Because had he covered us according to our sins, none of us would have been able to stand. Can I get a witness up in here? Amen. And so we go to our text here. Amen. It's a brief foundation of what we're coming from. Amen. Paul, or presumably Paul, amen, wrote the book of Hebrews. Amen. Nobody really knows who the author of Hebrews is, but it sounds like Paul's writing. Amen. So Paul, amen, was speaking to the Hebrews. A lot of the Hebrews, amen, they was about to go back to Judaism. Amen. They was under much persecution. Amen. It was under much trial. Amen. Under much uh, uh, stress. Amen. And the, the brothers around them was trying to pressure them to go back. And they was about to go back. Amen. It was going back to where they came from. Amen. But the writer here was said to them, no, listen, you can't go back to where you come from. Come on, somebody. The most dangerous thing to do is to go back to where you come out of. How many know it's dangerous to go back on God? Lift your hands and give God some praise. Amen. What is it to go back to? It is something. People say ain't nothing to go back to. It is something to go back to. It is destruction. And there's nothing behind me that I won't. Can I get somebody to lift your hands and give God some praise? So open rebellion against God's laws was described as sinning with a high hand. So here the author has in mind specifically a rejection of Christ and his work. 
So Jesus sacrificed for sin and has done away with the sacrificial system of the old covenant. So brothers and sisters, if a person rejects the son's sacrifice, no one else could go for forgiveness. So a person who rejects Christ can only expect judgment as one of God's enemies. Amen. And I'm talking to the body of Christ today. Amen. You, you know, sinners don't do what they do. Amen. But you know, we are living in the age of a falling away. This is an age, amen, you are seeing a strong defect in people stand for the Lord. Can I get a witness? Come on. Amen. You, I'm looking at people I, I never would talk, amen, would turn, amen, would pick up this new stuff after, amen, but they preaching any and everything that you cannot even validate in the word of the Lord. And some of the preaching that we're hearing is causing the masses of the people to go back. I couldn't wow. tell you, that's their black pudding. God cares about what we do. You cannot do anything and be anything and just go anywhere and say that you're safe. They get nobody. Because when you're saved, there's something over the inside of you that will let you know, amen, we got to live lives that's untouched and unblemished from the world. I wish I thought I had a church this Sunday morning. I don't know if it's what you want to hear, but it's what you're going to get because it's what God sent me to tell you. Amen. We, we got to make sure that we're not drifting back in the sin. And I hear you, Lord. Thank you. God said it's one thing receiving the Holy Ghost, but it's another thing let me keep you. Oh, I can't get nobody. And one thing, amen, let them come in your heart. One thing allow him, amen, to empower you. But it's another thing that will, with what you do with it, amen. It's more than just speaking and talk. What you're doing with the power of God. Anybody can come in church and talk and talk. I can't get no party. When that devil rises up against me, I can't just speak in tongues against them. I got to know how to resist temptation. When he come up in my life, I wish I had somebody to throw them hands up and tell the Lord, thank you for power. Why? How many take part for power? And then I was down praying and I just began to hear the spirit of the Lord speak to my heart. And then Friday night and I heard the word of the Lord tell me. I heard the spirit say, the Holy Ghost said, he said, my spirit is grieved over the spiritual conditions of a lot of my people. He said, a lot of my people have saddened my spirit because when I reached out to touch them with a spirit of conviction over sin, they can't feel my hand they develop a numbness to my touch. Amen. A lot of people don't feel God like they used to feel it. Amen. You know when you first got saved years ago, you can see it. I've done something wrong. And it didn't take long for God to convict you. It didn't take long for you to feel it. Amen. But over the process of time, a lot of our hearts have gotten hardened. Amen. When we do wrong, they can't even feel God touching you. And God said, listen, my, he said, my heart is grieved because a lot of my people don't know my touch anymore. They don't know what I'm trying to convict them and try to bring them back in. It made it to a safe place. But I heard God said, he said, it hurts my heart to know that so many Bible believing and Christ confessing people is going to stand before me on that day to be only disappointed with the decision that I will make over the destiny. The eternal destiny. I come to tell you, brothers and sisters, once you find the Lord, you got to know, go on to know the Lord. And then it don't stop when you came down to an altar. When you got saved, I wasn't it. And I get a witness. You got to live a life that is pleasing to the Lord. I thought I had a church out here in Rudin. I feel the Holy Ghost all the time. I thought I had somebody know what I'm talking about. Glory. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that go to church. Amen. Every Sunday, Minister K. Said, every time the doors are open, gave big tithes, gave big offerings. Amen. But it's going to stand before God on that day. And he's going to tell them to talk to me. I never knew you were full of iniquity. See, it's one thing we pray. Another thing is one thing we preach. Amen. I can have a guilt to prophesy. I have a guilt to lay hands. I got a guilt to cast out devils. But I come to tell you, my guilt is not going to give me a ticket into the gate. Can I get a witness? 
What's gonna, what is it gonna give me access into the kingdom? He that do it, the will of my father. And I'm trying to find somebody here that know what I'm talking about. Because if you look around and everybody in this room, we all gonna have to stand before God and give an answer to our creator. And so God spoke to me, Minister Casey. He said, He said, it hurts my heart to know that so many of my people that once knew me is on a fast track to hell. Uh oh, it's quiet today. Because I, 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 I just don't believe a lot of people preach this kind of stuff because they just want to take other people and, and preach a, a, a sermon so well dressed. So you can give a dress offering. You can give a good offering. Can I get a witness? I'm a, I'm a firm believer, Pastor, in lifting the offering after the preaching. But I know what you got in your heart. Can I get it? Where your money is and where your heart is. And you can have a word like this and still give. But I know truth is on your side. But I get a witness. Bless the Lord. It is people, amen, that was once saved. And I don't believe you can say what you want to say. But I don't believe once saved, always saved. Amen. That, 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 you can't just say, well, I came to the altar one time. And that was all there was. I came to the altar. I can still go out there and smoke and drink. And I can still party. I, I can still do my thing. I can still sock it to who I want to sock it to. No, you're not saved. But I get away from something here. Because saved people do save me. Save people do save things. Lift your hands and tell the Lord, thank you up to this hospital here. And I hear God saying one of the most dangerous places to be for a saint is for a saint to be hanging by a string. Ain't like you barely hanging on God to tell us to barely hang on. He said, let us live a hole of eternal life. Can I get a witness up in here? How we barely hanging on. Amen. But we got all this power down in our heads. Oh, God says, listen here. It's time to be an axe. But be that people in an axe. One and eight. Before, before I see you to receive power. After that, which the Holy Ghost has come upon you. But when you got the Holy Ghost, you got more power than this shouting. You got more power than speaking and talking. You got power to live holy. I got some work to do up in here this morning. But I feel something about to break loose. I'm feeling the Lord dead. Amen. About to hit this house in a little bit. I feel somebody, amen, is about to get to that next level. And I come to tell you, brothers and sisters, I feel your Lord. God said, just because you're saved, don't mean you ain't got no devil on you. Now, sick Christian folks, we're not demon possessed because we got the Holy Ghost inside of us. But it could be a devil living on side of on your body. A soul in your emotions, a soul in your mind, and that's what the Holy Ghost has to wash up the liberty. Let's get that devil off of you. I wish I had a church in here. Let's know what I'm talking about. How many people preaching in the Lord and still dealing with demons? Oh, it's fine. I mean, they can preach to your hair curl up like you put curls on it. But I get a witness up in here. But they leave the house of God. They go find their honey. Up the town. I can't get nobody. Oh, it's part of the Lord. And they come back to church the next Sunday and do it all over again. But tell you, but tell, I tell the church in Texas, uh, don't you follow a man because he have an anointing. Don't you follow a man because uh, he's don't you follow a man because he can prophesy in his acting. You don't follow a man because of that. You follow a preacher because of what he preached. We should live out in a way that was she lied of the mouth of God. If he preaching a lie, don't you follow that preacher. He might told you your address. He might told you your driver's license number. But if he's preaching another gospel, which you have not received, the Bible said, let him be a I can't get no hip up with him, Lord. I, 
to the Holy Ghost. Ah, if God saved, Lord, I hear you. I got a work so rough edges off of some of my people. That's some rough edges on them, Lord. I can't get nobody. He said they're doing okay, but they ain't angry. But soon as somebody get you angry, then that rough stuff start coming up. And God said, you the first one to know what you need help in. You know, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You need deliverance if you still cuss or you get angry. You need deliverance if foul words come out your mouth when you get angry. And then got the nerve to say, God forgive me. You play with grace, I can't get nobody. And you play with mercy. But I ain't seen so much crying in the churches now. I told you, everybody crying, I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me. Listen, one thing I said, God to forgive you is another thing walking away from it. Another thing with and I know you're sick. We got a forgiving generation, but we don't have a repentance generation. Oh, I can't get no further pastor. They cry, they say, God forgive me, and then get right back up and go do the same thing again. That is not true repentance. And pastor, I'm trying to call my people. I'm trying to call you out away from that stuff that you've been dealing with. Those habits, those sinful habits and addictions that's trying to trip for your anointing, huh? and then you want to go fall on grace, huh? but I come to tell somebody, God said I want you to live higher, that's an anointing to help you live right, that's an anointing to help you walk holy, I'm trying to find somebody huh? that still believes in holiness, huh? it's the order of the day, can I just walk a little bit and find somebody that know what I'm talking about? God, I hear you, Lord. It's time to work some deliverance. It's okay to shout. It's okay to dance. But it's time to get some stuff out of our attitudes that we know God ain't pleased with. I can't get no help of it, Lord. If you want to see a move of God in our churches, this flesh got to die. Can I get a witness up in here? You want to see that fire again? Up in the house of God, that flesh got to die. Somebody got to die to that shell. Somebody got to get back to all night prayer again. Somebody got to get back to the stars in consecration. I need God to anoint me up in his eye. And see, my ministry in this hour, I don't have a health and wealth ministry. I don't have a new car and a new house for you. But I got a ministry of deliverance. I have a ministry that makes a difference. And God said, I need a difference in the church. I need to I'm gonna make a difference in group to set it all. Y'all better lift your hands and give God some praise. That's gonna be a difference. I'm about to sit on fire like you've never seen before. I wish I had someone to throw your hands up and say, God, when you sit in don't miss me. When you sit in stop by my address. That's sit in God, this is a generation playing with God in the church. They playing with God, Pastor. I don't know what kind of God they serve. It. I don't know what kind of God they will let you do what you want to do. And you claim to be healed. You said I purchased you not. You want me to be my servant, Lord. My God is corruptible, such corruptible things. But you are a demon, Lord, and I say it. By my blood. I purchased you by my blood. And now that I purchased you, you belong to me. If you belong to me, I can tell you what to put on your body. I can tell you what to put in your mouth. I can tell you what to go. I can't get no I'm trying to find a church. Back to If they begin to reshape it, if they begin to put some fire in the world, if they're not pouring over that same stuff that used to fall on. Oh, God, I feel the Lord. I hear God said this hour, it's some people need some flat out purchase. You need to lay them hands on you and get that impurity out of you. But I get it, you don't, you don't see so many people purging no more. When they come back to the altar and that preacher lay his hands on us, but every demon that's on you, it's got to come off. We don't see that too much no more. But we too busy with calling and howling. And you know what we busy with? We fall down and get up. You can't preach no message of deliverance. And your message about falling down and getting up. Falling down and getting up. When you gonna stay up? I can't get no time. When you gonna be able to walk deliverance? When you gonna be able to get cast out to the river? I'm trying to find somebody. But throw them hands up. I feel like that. I feel that like Lord in my belly. I feel that fire. Somebody to fall. Look at somebody. Somebody, 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 somebody
around with somebody else's wife. Poor mongery. Adultery. Fornication. Witchcraft. Sorcery. I can't get no help in there. Y'all, y'all better lose your whole temper. Lose your whole life. Come on, tell me, lose this whole. Come on, somebody. God said, listen. He said, listen, I, I'm bringing my real, I'm bringing the real gospel back. Save the Lord. I still got some vessels, Pastor. The Lord said, I still got some vessels. They have not bowed to this new God. Can I get a witness? I still got somebody going to throw that trumpet. I got a trumpet in my hand, Pastor. I said, I got a trumpet in my hand. I got a pile out everywhere I go. I got a pile out. If you tell me to go to Mars, I, I got the trumpet in my hand. If you tell me to go to Jupiter, I, I can't go find you. Somebody got a power out. Somebody in Buddha got a power out. When I get over to somebody, I got to put their boss out. I got to trap out. And shout. For my people, their transgressions in the house of Jacob. You know why some of the church is so dry? Because sin is in the house. God said, My spirit, when I always strive with me, whenever there's sin in a church and it is undealt with, God's spirit will not move in that place. You will not see a mighty move of his spirit. You won't see no signs, no wonders until you repent. Y'all quiet. What, what, what's the sense of a dry church? Sin puts out the fire. I can't get no money with y'all that. Sin puts out the fire. And so you come to church, one of our man, it's so boring. Why can't we get the spirit? Because sin. Uh oh, it's quiet today. Somebody bought the curse thing and hid it under the altar, hid it under the ground. I can't get nobody. You gotta find what's sin at. I can't get nobody. When somebody in the church sin at, you wonder why we losing all these battles. Because somebody brought sin up in the church. Come on, they're trying to hide it. Come on, preacher. I the Lord say, listen, by sin in the church, I let you shout. Sin in the church, I let you dance. But you will not have a mighty move of my spirit until you deal with the sin. That's why the night, why this morning. You wonder, go why? Can we feel the anointing? Sin. Why can't we feel your fire? Sin. Why are people not coming to the church? Sin. Why would God bring a sinner into a house of sin? Oh, I can't get that. Why would, Lord, it's quiet. Why would he use a sinful house, a church, to be another option for a sinner to go? Come on. Now we go to the club, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. The balls, the, the drug house, sin. Right. Why would he use a church as another option for them to come in the sin? Y'all got quiet this morning. Oh, no, it's quiet. Oh, no, no, no. Lord, I got to go through this. Yes, yes. That's why the preacher got to be holy. Because when the preacher holy, the anointing flows through the preacher. But when the preacher pastor got a sensual spirit, when he preach or she preach, that spirit releases out in the church. Can I get a witness up in there? When it comes down from Adam's head down to his feet, it's going to come down to the feet. So if the preacher is not delivered, if the preacher is still lost, or if the preacher is not brought, still got to the very spirit is going to fall down to the feet. If the musicians ain't delivered, if the musicians ain't tracked, then the spirit is in depth, it's going to mix up with the music. And we wonder why we can't have a move of God because of sad. Oh, Lord, it's quiet. Because there's a perversion in the church. He said that he said then has caused the ornament of the perfumer to speak. And so listen, the anointing to be in the house. But when sin is in the house, it causes the anointing to be deluded and perverted. Can I get a witness? Oh, y'all so quiet this morning. That's what we tell you what we gotta do. Hit them altars again. Open up them altars. It's got to be a time you come to church. Get off the keyboard, get off the drum. Put your Bibles up. I'm putting this mic down. We coming back to this altar. We coming back where the power is. We coming back where we press God again. Can I get a witness? We going back to the room. Sweet 
He said, Ichabod has visited a lot of our churches. The glory has left because people is playing with his grace and mercy. No, I didn't say the preacher didn't leave. The singing didn't leave. The glory. The power of God has left the churches because of sin. I'm in the right church. I'm in the right church. Because of sin. And that's why I'm trying to go on, but we just can't have people in position for the sake of filling positions. Can I get a witness up and let them put in the little get themselves down? Can I get a witness to shut them down so they get right with God? Can I get a little quiet? Quiet the whole choir. They might have seen it, sit them all down. Let's play some tracks. Can I get a witness up and bring the tambourine? Can I get a witness up and bring the tambourine? Always back to the 
the back door. All the way to the back door, all the way to the parking lot. Because so folks getting out the car with C. And coming to church and shout up and cut a rug. Oh, no, 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 no. 
flesh. Pastor God, I want to set a fresh fire in your church. I hear the Lord, I want to set a fresh fire in your church. But I need you to do some searching, said the Lord. I need you to search on the ground and see what's here. See what it is that's keeping the move of God that you want, that you've been praying for, that you've been seeking for. God said, there's a reason why you ain't seeing it yet. My God said, I need you to get before me and begin to search. Find out what the devil's trying to hide himself at. Find out what the evil is trying to push his smile. Are y'all ready to hear the word of the Lord? Ah! Oh, I feel that hope. Put it holy ghost in my pants. Why, yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's all. We're going to see that powerful move of God. Amen. We got to make sure we ain't playing these games with God. Can I get a witness up in here, Lord? Open this house up in here today. I hear the Lord saying, in my spirit. I don't know who you are, but God's not been calling somebody to repent. It's time to repent. What's repent, Pastor? President said, I'm sorry. But then it's time to go away from that shit. That's time to go. It's through the three shit. I'm turning away from it. I'm coming out from the mouth. I'm going to be shot. Can't get no help but it's simple. Oh, lift up hands and tell the Lord, bring the word, God. Bring your word to me. Uh -huh. See these kind of words here? There's no word deliverance, you know why? Because it's not tickling your emotions. It's going straight to your spirit. It's making you think, wait a minute. God, wait a minute, why couldn't you do many mighty works up in my hometown? Why couldn't you do many mighty works up in my church? Why couldn't you do many mighty works up in my life? We call it because of your unbelief. It's because of that sin that's hindering my word. That God said, don't get me wrong now. When my spirit show up, Pastor, it's going to work whether you see it or not. The sin holds it back from its capacity, from its full capacity of doing what he want to do. I wish I had somebody for a picture. Give God some praise of this. Today that fresh anointing is coming back to my north, to my house. Coming back in my preaching. Coming back on this trip. It's coming back. Oh, let me watch what is coming back. So that move is coming back. My glass is coming back. My shout is coming back. My tongue is coming back. My worship is coming back. My praise is coming back. It's coming back right now. Yeah, God. I woke up yesterday and immediately I heard a word in my spirit. He said, I took my son off the cross after he paid for your sins. But you put him back on the cross to crucify him again by ascending against my spirit. He said to me, Jesus died for sin and then got up on the third day. Oh, but we can't expect to get out of sin and get over it overnight. But I get away to tell you something. Sin have a legal effect on you. I don't care how you say God forgive me. And God do forgive. But sin have a way of lingering over you. Sin opens up appetites that you didn't even know you had. Sin brings guilt and condemnation. Sin will make you weak and cowardly. Sin will pull you out your back. Sin will keep you from finding demons and losing devils. Sin! Oh, I can't get no hip for I knew it was going to get fired with this morning, but you know, I, I, I'm not moved by applause. I'm moved by what's in my belly. Can I get a witness up in here, Lord? And so you can't teach an old dog new tricks. We're in the Holy Ghost. We don't play tricks. Because tricks are for kids. But you can be old as dirt. And God can still revive your order. Can I get a witness up? You can be old. And just like he opened up Sarah's womb naturally, he can open your womb again spiritually. You can produce the fruit. 
that you used to produce. We can produce that anointing. We used to produce. We can produce that preaching. I can't get nobody. Why? Because you produce. Yeah. 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 Ye
to say mouth. That's why. Can I get a witness up here? We got to lick down and clean our mouths. You got to clean this mouth. Clean this mouth up. And ask the Lord, show me, Lord. You stop the living. Okay, Lord, test me. Let me try to make me angry today. That's it, Pastor. That's it. Let me see how it is.
Holiness. Somebody get a man with me. Keep preaching. I stop. I stop. Keep preaching. Can I get a witness up here? Holiness is helping to keep your dress down. Holiness, brother, will help you keep your pants up. I can't talk. Holiness will keep you. Will help you. Holiness, brothers, will let you drink out your own sister. Come on. That's the word. I can't get a witness. I can't get a witness. I the Lord said to me, He said, I'm calling my church to come back and to align it with my spirit. You cannot continue in sin and expect and expect a man me to bail you out if there's no brokenness and no repentance. You can't expect grace to get you out when there's no, there's no, there's no brokenness over sin. Sin don't break your heart. Then you're not really asking God to forgive you. You just go through the motion. Because when you really want forgiveness, your heart will be in it. You will tell God I was wrong. I hurt you. Please forgive me. I want to be right with you. But what we do now, Pastor, folks saying it is Lord forgive me, Lord forgive me, Lord forgive me. No confession, dry eyes. Right. 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 It's like I rebuild the altars again. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord, I'm rebuilding the altars. Yeah. What we do at the altar, we cry. Uh -oh. We weep at the altar. Yeah. I'm rebuilding my altars again. Yeah. Why? Because sin has come down. Yeah. I gotta rebuild them. When the people come into the church, they, they got the seat, but they got the altar. Come on, come on, when they get back down on their face and cry back out to God, yeah, until you know in your spirit, He's reconnected you. Right. When the last time you felt that, on, you got back on your knees and you felt God restored your spirit. Boy, it's quiet today, Lord. Come on, come on. That's what we need: is restoration in the church. It's just a forgiving generation. It's a forgiving, or forgiving, or forgiving. That's all you hear is forgiving, but you see no change. My God. God's like, I hammer. He's like, I nails. What you doing, God? Fire. 
I have that mean I, 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 it's presently in my spirit. My God. God. Yes, While you praying, I, I got some to have it. While you giving tithes, it's good, but I, I, I said have it. And off with you. Come on. No. Spending more time with everything else. All right. But you forgot about me. Hey, and you know what God is saying? Just God sometimes you give me crumbs. Oh, oh, God. God. Right. Wherever right. you give to me. He said, I'll take it, but Thank you, Lord. I got all against you, man. Yeah. You don't fast no more. My Lord. God, preacher, I'll do it. You don't fast, you don't push the plate like all these things. Speak on the coach. Food, you love food more than me. How do you prove to God that you love him more than food? You fast. Oh, fast. Can I get a witness? You push that thing back. And why are you pushing it back? You're saying, God, this is going be a shadow of the Lord and draw me closer. Fast for calls and fast for houses and fast for this and that. But God says, No, I need your spirit restored. I, I need your spirit restored. I, I, I need your anointing restored again. He told Timothy, He said, Stir up the gift of God that's within you. And what he was saying was, He said, Listen, fan them flames again. Let them flames. He said, Your fire ain't. I just read the 
Lord said, he said, listen, I appreciate you saying when you get on your knees saying, Lord, forgive me for all my sins, but God's not going to the name you took. Ah, so we get down, Lord, forgive me for this. Now forgive me for all my sins and keep praying. But God said, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. The way you get the devil out, you got to know. See, demons don't release from anything you won't repent on. You can say, God, forgive me all day, but, but that demon's still there. But when you start exposing it in the presence of God, Lord, I, I said some words I cussed today. And God, I know it wasn't right. Please forgive me. That devil have no problem with God because you made it. Why I don't be there? Come on, preacher. Can I ask y'all a question? Okay. Have you ever been open and naked before the Lord and you felt embarrassed like everybody around? Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Don't lie. Ain't nobody around. Don't lie. But you name it out. Yes. 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 You know what that means? Yeah. It's I accept it. Ah! Come on. Man. If you can feel embarrassed in my presence, yes. that means I'm bad. Confession is good for the soul. Confession means I agree with God. No, I agree with God. I was wrong. If I, you might feel bad for a while, but boy, when you get done praying, all that stuff is released out of you. See, let me tell you, sins is not released till you confess it. I can't get nobody. Oh, God, I can't. You got to confess it. Look at what I'm saying. Confess it. Why don't we? Get it out before God. Lay it out there. Here it is, dog. Do I got to say it? Yes. I X, Y, Z. And that's what you call being humble before his presence. And when you do God's talking, come on, come on, come on. When you repent and confess, you're showing God I'm dirt. I'm a dust. Dust. I failed. Now I promise you, when you do that, you'll start feeling your strength coming back. But God said a lot of us is holding on to unconfessed sins. Well, my church. Is. Think I got my right today? Yes, come on. Listen, no, 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 I can't strike a match real fast. There's something to blow up. That's a quick strike. Can I get away? We gotta lay it out. Come on, We gotta lay it out. Lay it out. Before you do it, not. That's it. You want about to know? Shut the door. You're on your face. Yeah, on, so I did this. And you know what the Lord said? Some of us got to go back. The Lord said, listen, I'm a God forgiven. I don't hold grudges, but there's some things that you ain't confessed over in the big years. My God. Go back and think about it. My God. What is it that God got up with me about and I don't know about it? Go back and think. What have I confessed? Yeah. There's some things that you may take what happened when you do that. The Holy Ghost will bring it back to your family. Right. Y'all you quiet tonight. And you will. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Because confession, let God know that you trust in the big God. Can I get up with it? I'm going to put the word on the right side. Remember what I repent. Because I'll tell him repent. Don't be scared. Tell him repent. And do your first words. You know what that means? Let's start all over. You know what that's telling God? Y'all with me today? Yes. Give me a fresh start. I'm wiping the state clean. Yeah. Today is a new day, God. Listen, the old dedication I have is behind me. The mess up is behind me. He said, repent, do it over. Somebody got to do it over today. Somebody got to do it today. To thank God that they were a new day. I'm not going to talk about it after the day. Come on, come on. Come on. Can, can I get a witness? Come on. I'm not going to bring it back. Yeah. What? Because I'm doing it over. Look at my clip. It's a new over time. I'm laying it out before God. I'm confessing it. He said, repent and do your first works. What's your first works? You know what the first work was when you got saved? You can't turn off. Your uncle had been in your bedroom. Your uncle had been in the church. Your uncle had been in the ghost. You probably got the Holy Ghost in the ghost. Was but, but you coming back to the place where you first met him. I said, God, this told me. Pastor, he's taking me to a whole church. Wow. Yes, sir. Not an individual. Wow. That's right. A whole church. He said, I'm calling the whole church to sit back and do it all. My God. Who got quiet about the whole church? 
The whole church? Right. Everybody is cool. There ain't no good one to do it and nobody else. Yeah. Come on, come on. He said, because we're a body. We can't go by. So if this is going to work, we got to get the same thing. Oh, my God. He taught that whole church, repent and do your first works. Watch this. Or else. Can't play with, we can't play with the wrong side. We can't play with grace and mercy. The state of God not to deal with us. He said, repent or else. And they got a God, they don't they got have a consequence. But my God got consequences. He said, y'all waiting on the position. He said, or else. I will come unto you quickly. And remove your candlestick out of this place. You know what he just tells that church? I'm gonna shut your church down. He said, if you don't take quick action, that candlestick means they church. I'm gonna remove your light in that city. I'm remove your I'm gonna remove your whole church out of existence. If you don't do something quick. Hey, Y'all listen to this. Hear me, Pastor. Come on, preacher. Hear me, Pastor. He's out calling the whole church. New beginning. Yeah, come on. Come on. True holiness. Come on. I'm Your church. Come on. He's out calling the whole church. Oh, yeah. shot come back yeah. and do it over again. Because there's some things in my sight that I see that I don't like. And the only thing can get rid of it is my blood. My Lord. And when my people come confess, I will wash it. My God, I'm going to cleanse it. He threatened this church. He told me, y'all don't get this thing together, I'm closing your whole church down. And you know what? That's some, that's some churches that's off the map now. So, so it is. You can't find them nowhere. Shut down. Many members. Shut down. Instruments. Had money. Cathedrals. But nobody wanted to repent. Started with the pulpit. Everything went on in the church. Uh, and God said, I told that pastor to repent, but he wouldn't do it. So I'm going to shut it down. God is taking churches off the map. Because they play with grace. They play with my I want to I feel so about to happen. I told the pastor to tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I don't know about y'all, but I, 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 I ain't too proud to say, God, help me. Hey, God, hey, God, 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 God. Show me me. Because I don't want my anointing to blind me to me. I don't want them to find my belly to blind me. Y'all quiet to me. He said, oh, what else? Me, 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 me. No, he was talking to the pastor first. And the pastor had to give it to the church. And see, that's what pastors, we got to be in a place, Pastor, where we, we can't always show them our strengths. We got to show them I can be broken like you can't do. My God, come on. I got to lay that off just like you do. That's it. This is of my life ain't here because of, because of just that. It's because I lay at the altar. Lay it's because I lay before God. Can I get a witness? I, I, listen, I don't preach like this because I sit down and watch TV all day. I got to I got to lay for hours. And even after I lay my hours in prayer, I still got to ask you all to show me. Show me myself. Because if you don't show me me, I can't show them them. Come on, come on. Wow. I can't see myself right. That I have no deserving to see what's going on with my members. And God said, I'm calling the churches. Y'all better hear this word today. I'm calling the churches. Stop willfully saying And get back at that altar. Come on. 
I will remove Amen. your place. And what you're going to have is scattered members. And one of the pastors that scattered my life. You couldn't keep them because you wouldn't repent. My God. Pastors scattered the sheep because they wouldn't repent. Quiet over here. Y'all hear me? Made a mistake? Okay, get it right. Keep it right. Right? But so many pastors have destroyed their own churches through sin. But guess what a leader is? A lover says a mediator. That's what he is. He, what he does, he, get, he stands between that past that are fallen and between God. And he helps establish them again. I can't get nobody out here. Just get them back on track.
to do some new stuff. He might do something in the back. I'm going to show you God ain't, he's not hiding behind his music. Fuck, oh, give me this, can you get up real quick? Fuck, oh, give me this, can you get up real quick? Fuck, give me this, can you get up real quick? Fuck, okay. Come on, let's get some fire.
the Lord told me, I'm going to help you. I was praying. I heard the Lord just told me to tell you. I'm going to help you. I will help you. God said, God, don't go, go, shut up. Yes, shut up. The Lord said, help. 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 You believe God? You just throw your hands up. Yes, shut up. Say, Lord, I receive you. I receive you. I receive you. God said, all is not lost. It's his name to be framed. Be stirred. Be framed. Go stirred. I feel the Holy God. Look at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see myself, Pastor, doing a street service. Come on, preacher. I heard a group. I don't know where. We're going to have the speakers out there. Come on, woo! Oh. Come on. We, we got to get the right permission from whoever we need to get it from. We're going to have the speakers out there. We're going to have some church. Think about that church. church. We got to bring it to the street. Come on. Yeah, I know we're going to bring it to the street now. Oh, they won't come here. We're going to go get them. We're going to bring them in, Pastor. Come on. We're going we're gonna to bring them in. That's it. Get that fish already. Come on. How many hands you yourself this morning? We throw our hands and say, I'm like this. Glory, glory. Hey, Amen. I'm done. I pray to God. Something I said. Oh, yeah, man. Let's go. your spirit. I'm going to stop the camera now. Thank God for y'all. Let's go wash his hands. Hey, Amen. But I, I, I thank God for Pastor Fan Troy. Hey, Amen. Woman of God. Amen. Hey, we, like we've been doing each other for years. Yeah.